programme. Mm. Just one little uh, racing line for you, though. Fiorenti has won the uh, Melbourne Cup overnight. British train runners Red Caddo and Mount Athos finished second and third. Michael Owen's horse, Brown Panther, you remember he talked about that when he came in, finished eighth. And there was a little bit of concern about some cuts to Brown Panther's legs overnight. We've just heard in the last hour, the horse is fine. Good. Always a risky business. Yeah. Um, all right, Sally, thanks very much. Thanks, Sam. 6.40, the issue of immigration can be a divisive one, particularly in times of austerity. But a new study suggests that migrants who've come to the UK in recent years have made a substantial contribution to public finances. Researchers from University College London also found that recent immigrants were less likely to live in social housing and claim benefits than people who were born in Britain. Christian Dussman co-authored the report and joins us now. Very good morning to you, Christian. Thank you for your time this morning. Um, could you give us the, uh, the, the headline statistic of, uh, of immigrants who come to the UK, and this is uh, since 2000. Are, are they contributing more to the public purse than they're taking away? Absolutely. Um, so the findings in our study suggest that immigrants who came after 1999 uh, and over the period between 2000 and 2011 have substantially contributed more to, um, to uh, in terms of taxes than they have taken out in terms of benefit and transfers. Uh, in uh, particular, immigrants from EEA countries uh, have contributed far more in terms of taxes than they have taken out in terms of uh, benefits, uh, and that amounts over that period to about 22 billion. When you say EA, we, we, that's what we would normally think of as EU, European uh, citizens from the rest of Europe. And just clarify exactly. for me, that figure you're talking about, that they have contributed more than they've taken out, is from the year 2000 of all immigrants, not just EU immigrants, that's all immigrants since 2000? All immigrants, yes. Okay. Now, what happens if you take those figures further back and if you include immigrants from elsewhere? Well, we have also looked at all immigrants, uh, no matter when they arrived, between 1995 and 2011. Uh, we find that immigrants from EEA countries, again, have contributed more than they have taken out while immigrants from non-EEA countries have slightly contributed less uh, than they have taken out, but so have uh, British-born uh, individuals because there have been a number of years with a large uh, deficit. So, just to try and clarify, the, if you like, the worst offenders, as some would see it in terms of taking from our social care system, are those who've come from the non-EU countries dating further back, some 16 years back, but they are no worse than people who were born in the UK? Yes, there are different in terms of demographics. Uh, individuals from non-EA countries tend to have larger families. And our, our calculations have been very conservative. So we have assigned uh, to the cost side of immigration, not just uh, the costs of immigrants themselves, transfers to immigrants themselves, but also transfers to their children in terms of educational expenditures up to the age of 15. Professor Christian Dustman from University College London, thank you. 6.43, you're watching Breakfast from BBC News. And uh, that is our main story this morning. Migrants who've come to live in the UK since the year 2000 have made what's being described as a substantial contribution to public finances, according to that major new study. MPs summoned two police officers accused of giving misleading answers to Parliament over the so-called Plebgate affair. So perhaps you're pre preparing for bonfire night tonight. Lots of fireworks in the offing. Carol has got started.